Stop. Spin. Stop. Collaborate. Listen. Mm. Didn't understand that verb, huh? Don't stop believing. Hmm. Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Frog Fractions, the text-based adventure game, I guess. Uh, oh, I seem to be having problem parser and or guess the verb trouble problems. Whoops. Uh, for some reason, we're here, and it's a text-based adventure. Uh, the walls of the circular room curve. There's a glowing display. Let's look at the glowing display. Well, let's look. Glowing display. Let's look at it. I only understand as far as look. You literally said it's right there. This is right there. All right, well, let's try control deck. Best not to fiddle with the controls. Oh, okay. How about look display? What do we try that? Oh, there we go. A glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy, a destination you don't recognize marked, and an ETA of about 3,000 years. <laughs> Looking closer, you see two on-screen buttons labeled route details and new destination. Route details. Screen spills forth a slew of steps, such as spiral spin word at spathy system, far faster than you can fathom. Spiral spin word at spathy system. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's try new destination. Uh, the nav computer dumps you into an interface so obtrusive before that before you even consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button or at the main map again. Earth. Oh, go home. Portal again. Look, porthole. It's a sea background star shifting as the ship gently spins the constellation. I don't know what to do. Uh, glowing green display. New destination. I tried that though. Ex X destination. The new destination button pulses so softly as though it's just a sick, as sick of the current route as you are. All right. X route details. The route details button pulses softly as though it wants to dis disclose some details really badly. Press route details. Hmm. Stop. Spin. Stop. Collaborate. Listen. Hmm. Didn't understand that verb, huh? Don't stop believing. Hmm. Win. Lose. Lo lost. It's a good show. Huh. Exit chip. I want to leave. I just want to leave. Can I leave? Ah. Put plate on placemat. I know it's just an example. Hmm. What is there? The walls of the circular room curve to meet a point that was correspond with curve nose, the outer all lining the walls. You see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. Oh, a ladder leaves aft. Okay, well, let's go up the ladder then. Climb ladder. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, okay, you clamber across the ladder. Captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the fore. <laughs> an oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. X rug. This decorative oriental rug sits in the center of the room, looking at it more closely. It doesn't quite lay flat on the floor. There's a significant dip around the middle. Lift rug. Moving the rug, you discover a recessed hatch below it. Yeah, your score has gone up by two fifths of a point. I'm learning fractions. It's open hatch. It's another lost reference. You have to work it a bit, but after you get after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Enter hatch. Hell yeah. Okay, you slip through the hatch engine room. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a stick pink goop. What? which seems to be thicker near the gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There's a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to the fore. Okay, X wires. Let's check out those wires. Peering into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can that you're quite <laughs> guessing doesn't belong there. All right, let's take that can. You twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've ripped the insulation off of an adjacent wire in the process and it begins sparking as it comes in contact with an adjacent strut. You glance down at what you've taken. Huh, it really is a coffee can. Let's examine it. An empty coffee can. Check out our inventory. What else do we have here? Invent, invent, how do you spell inventory? Like that, you're holding the can. Cool, thanks. How are you? What's going on? Subscribe to Mr. Ed. Oh, 
doesn't understand that very all right well what else what else do we have i have this can now nearly every surface is covered with a sticky pink goop a hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires there's a hatch leading but i don't want to go back to the hatch i have this can now so i guess i could take that back with me but i don't know what to do with it uh let's see why don't we uh why don't we go back let's enter enter hatch my captain's course is a sleeping pod let's look at the sleeping pod sleeping pod uh, it's a sleeping pod. It looks like a bed with a lid, but you have to assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality. I mean, right? There's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. Let's examine the hole. Hmm. Same thing. Uh, enter pod. Can you do that? You can't safely sleep until you're confident you'll return to Bug Mars by the end of the trip. Why do I want to go back to Bug Mars? I want to go to Earth. Where Where am I now? What's happening? Where Did, did I find that spaceship? Where? The warp drive took me to Bug Mars, right? What what happened? The warp drive took me to Bug Mars, and that, then I was in a courtroom. And then I was here on a ship. All right, whatever. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's go back to let's look around because we got to get back to the the main room. There's a hatchway ladder. Uh, climb ladder. Okay, here we go. Use can. You will have to be more specific as what what you can do with the can. Use can on display. That doesn't go there. Whoops. Oh, well. Uh, uh, let's examine display. We got these two buttons. So it's a destination you don't recognize. Examine destination. Oh, not the de not the button. Let's examine what else is there. Well, well, let's look around because there was there was the display, but there was also the control deck. Okay, let's examine controls. The control deck consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never need to override the ship's autopilot because these are definitely not frog joysticks. Override. Autopilot. I don't understand what you want to override. Oh, because I spelled it wrong? Best not to fiddle with the controls. Damn it! Hmm? That's funny. All right. Well, I feel like there's stuff that we breeze past. Let's go back. So there's a ladder. Let's climb the ladder. All right. So there's an all-purpose living area, a sleeping pod... Sits next to a nice... Ooh, let's look at the nightstand. Examined nightstand. All right, it's a single drawer, which is closed. Open drawer. When you open the drawer, revealing a thick manual. Oh, hell yeah, read manual. It's a manual for the navigation computer in the command module. After leafing through it, you feel confident you understand how to use the interface well enough to set up a route back to Bug Mars. I got... Uh, my score has gone up by two and an eighth points. What, what Check score. What's my score right now? I only don't start to so check. What was the score? I don't know whom you want to score. <laughs> I don't know either. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go back to go back, go back, back, back. Where are we? Look around. Where? Wh what's what's happening? Look around. Okay. Uh, there's a ladder. Ladder. Climb ladder. Then. God damn. Okay. So, con uh, examine controls. Control. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, hold. Let's hope you never have to override it. But wait. Oh wait. Maybe. Oh. Oh. New destination. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's look back at the display. Examine display. Yeah, okay, new destination. New destination. All right, you definitely plot a course back to Bug Mars. The engine roars and you feel G4 shift. The ETA reads 57 and 3 fifths years. Huh. You run a diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through bug customs. Luckily, you can sleep through most of it. Okay, great. Well, let's climb the ladder. Hell yeah, we're doing it. We're really doing it. Let's do this. Your head has barely touched the pillow when an alarm begins repeating perfume chamber empty, empty. You will wake up cranky. You assume it's going to stop eventually, but a couple minutes later and it still hasn't. You get up. There's no way you can sleep like that. Oh, God. Examine perfume chamber. The sleeping pod looks like a bed with a lid, but you have to assume it's sort of... Oh, oh okay. So there's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. So I got to fill that hole with perfume. We're going to find perfume at a time like this. Oh, the goop. All right, let's let's enter the hatch. Enter hatch. There's there's goop down in the hatch. We know that for sure. Fill can with goop. The goop is stuck to the surfaces. Take goop. The goop is stuck to the surfaces. Eat goop. You're not hungry. Smell goop. Let's examine the machine. So a spigot aimed at a flat platform, a handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. Read paper, obviously. Uh, this is the out of order note included in your game package. Oh, okay. Uh, let's put the can on uh, the platform. I feel like 
You place the can below the spigot. That's what you're supposed to do then. So turn on spigot. I bet it won't work. This is space. Machines aren't on or off here. Machines just are. What the hell? Use it then. Use a spigot. You'll have to be more specific as to what you want to do with the gray machine. I can't turn it on. Start spigot. Start machine. Use machine. Oh my God. Let's examine the machine. All right, it's a spigot aimed at a small platform. There's an empty coffee can sitting under the spigot. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the... Take note. Take note. You rip the note off, leaving a fluttering piece of electrical tape behind and revealing a control panel. Hell yeah. Examine panel. Okay, most of the control button is rendered unusable by the sticky pink goop. You see a row of what look like radio preset buttons, all but two of which are stuck. There's also a big red lever. Pull lever. Oh, God. Dispensing mom's a specialty, <laughs> the machine says. A thick stream of pink goop streams out. It mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. You grab the can. A few drops land in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. Atmospheric anomaly detected, a different voice says. A whirring sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into the invisible vents, leaving just enough goop floating around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified, the voice said triumphantly. Okay, good, I guess. I mean, I guess that's good. Uh, all right, where am I now? Nearly every surface is still covered in sticky pink goop, huh? Oh, blobs of sticky pink goop drift around the room? That's gross. Okay, well, let's go back to the hatch. Can I just say hatch? Ah, uh, no. Enter hatch. All right. So, well, inventory, because I think I should still have that goop. You're holding a can of, the holding the order. Hold on. You're holding the out of order note and the can of pink goop. Good. I'm going to go back to the uh, uh, escape pod. Okay, enter. No, 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 hold on. Use can on pod. You bring the can close to the hole, and the hole sucks the pink goop right in. The nearby gauge fills up. Your score has gone up by nine halves of a point. I feel like that's not very good. Wait, nine halves? How much would that be then? Four and a half? All right, well, uh, let's enter the pod and now I can sleep. You try to sleep, but you can't. That bare wire loose in the engine room might start a fire. God damn it, enter hatch. Going back at the engine room. Uh, place notes. You'll have to be more specific as to what you want me to do. Okay. Put notes on machine. It doesn't go there. Can't get a meaningful amount just by collecting loose goop. Okay. Put can on spigot. Pull lever. Okay, I got it. The vents do their ineffectual thing. Okay, good. All right, so I got some stuff. Now, use goop on wire. Maybe I'll, maybe, maybe it'll stop it. Wire. It doesn't go there. Oh no, use can on wire? Uh, take tape. There's tape somewhere. Taken. Good. Use tape on wire. You wrap the tape around the bare wire. Okay, great. All right. Yeah, I, I, I did it. Enter hatch. God damn it. Hey, here we go. Uh, you lie down in the sleeping pod, close the lid, and drift off secure that you're 57 and something years. You'll return to Bug Mars as wealthy frog. Why? When you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You barely glance around the room. Yeah, uh, your bearing to get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping on a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already? A wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose, and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay! She laughs and claps, and you realize that you've been transmogrified into a human form. What the hell is going on in this game, you guys? Pressing space to continue. What? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. Watch out, man. They're eating your fruit. Yeah. I can't. I can't do it. 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 Well, guys, thanks for watching. Tune in in two days for something else. We're going to take a brief hiatus from Frog Fractions because what the hell is going on? What's happening? But we'll figure it out. I'll see you next time, everyone. And remember, keep watching.
This game is destroying me.